is delicious and most certainly nutritious. But could it also be a potential self-defense tool? Just imagine a fruit with a spiky exterior and a smell very reminiscent of a protein shaker that you left in the back of your car on a hot summer day. But also imagine no further because here it is, the durian fruit, the world's smelliest fruit. I figured if there was any fruit in this world that you could use to protect yourself, it would be the durian fruit. But just how much damage could it cause to a person? And more importantly, how bad does it smell? Well, in the name of science, I'll be taking a whiff and a beating to find out. Also, if you enjoy my off-brand of science, please like and share this video. Because, let's face it, YouTube won't be doing me any favors. And this is probably gonna stink, literally. I only have one question is, uh, where'd you get that? Amazon. You sell those on Amazon? $99 a piece. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I bought four. We probably only needed one. Please like and share the video. <laughs> a nice close up look of this durian fruit. You see how spiky that is? Spikes everywhere. Looks pretty lethal. But before we test the self-defense capabilities of this spiky fruit, I figure we should cut it open, have a taste, and get a good whiff of the smell. Because my logic here, this fruit can serve two purposes in a deterrent in a self-defense situation. One, the spikes, obviously. Two, the smell, if you happen to break it open on your attack. So we're breaking it up early, so it's gonna be stinky early? Yeah, I, we, I, I we think should, it'd- We should do that later. I thought it'd be kind of funny if it was just stinky for the whole video. I'm not gonna lie. I will. I think everyone watching will. My pain is their pleasure. Exactly. Okay, so, Seattle has five things. I looked up a tutorial on how to cut this. Wow. I have to div it, div it, div it. There we go. Oh no, what if it's rotten? <laughs> oh, oh, that looks like an omelet. That might be a little bit rotten. <laughs> that looks like an omelet. Ugh. How long have you had this fruit? A week. But it got chipped from Thailand, I think. <laughs> yeah, it smells don't really affect me. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. Come on, Jake. You got to for the people. Ugh. Well, Mark, uh, I work in dirty mouths all day. <laughs> you have a good point. <laughs> people whiff their dirty breath in you, but I want you to do first honors because I'm a gentleman. Oh. I wouldn't dare eat this delicious piece of food first. So if it's rotten. Uh, you know, no side effects. You know, right? No, it's fruit. I know it don't look like fruit. It looks like something you find on an alien planet, but... Well, there's no mold on it, so I this, guess. This grows from planet Earth. Look at that. That's a nice little slice right there. A slice of heaven. Oh, uh. That looks a little... <laughs> I might avoid that. Yeah, just avoid that part. Maybe that's the seed, though. Or the rotten part. Maybe. Thoughts? I should sure regret the second bite <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. another one. You got four of them. <laughs> or eat that one. Mm, I gag. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm not doing it. I don't like that. Why did they say it tasted good online? That's pretty good. You are kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just had a bad bite. No, it's pretty bad. <laughs> It's still in my mouth. No, just at least that that taste. Everyone, stop. I'm thinking about eating it again, and it's making me gay. You gotta try this. <laughs> If I eat it, you gotta eat it. How are you doing it, Mark? <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. It tastes like a like a tart 
banana or a tart mango. It tastes rotten. That too. <laughs> it's time to test the self-defense capabilities. Now I have two ideas on how you can use this as a self-defense tool. One, I'm gonna have Mark throw it at Practical. Me. Very practical, as most people would probably not have it on a rope like we have this one. This is more of the flail durian fruit. It's more for science, uh -huh. more controlled. Is this, I'm just like, imagine if you did haul your durian fruit on a rope, then you could swing it at someone, which I think could be very effective, but maybe a little less practical in terms of real world application. I think the throw would be the more applicable way to defend yourself with such a fruit. Wanna put money in if this is gonna break on you? How much money? Mm, let's say five dollars. That it breaks or doesn't break? That it breaks. Okay, deal. All right, Mark, 75% power throw, durian fruit to my stomach. Straight to 75. Fortunately, I already said it. I'm regretting it now. <laughs> Rock hard abs. <laughs> It didn't break! It didn't break! We win! We're not done. <laughs> uh, it was just the one throw, right? No, no. It's, it's <laughs> oh! Oh! It broke your skin. That wasn't part of the bet. That wasn't part of the bet. Uh, it's got to last the duration of the whole hitting. You're just making rules no, now. Not. I didn't say one time. I didn't say the whole time, but now I am. What do we think, Judge? Is that a fair addition? What? what? <laughs> she disagrees. Yeah. Yeah. What? No, no. no just, she said no. yeah. yeah. Fine. Fine. Fine, we'll do another throw. Full power. Full power. You guys hear that wolf? Not happy about you throwing wolf fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 100% power to my stomach one more time. The bet's done if it doesn't break, though. You lose. Accept it. It even dropped on the ground and it didn't break. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 My arm! Oh, my arm! It didn't break! You owe me money! It's lopsided. That's why I can't throw it. Oh, it's lopsided! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you want to throw one at me? We'll wait for that, but yeah, I'm going to throw one at you. You bet your boots I am. Can I keep my clothes on? I'll think about it. One more to my leg. You got to fight with a porcupine. I know. What the hell? Yes. What? Hey. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Ooh. I see. <laughs> it's <scary. laughs> I was so focused on my arm, I didn't even notice. Wow. Okay. Listen, I give you a nice meaty target, my leg, uh -huh. okay? Can't miss that. Maybe not that. I'll think about what leg. Okay. But you're just gonna throw as hard as you can to my leg. Uh -huh. And hopefully hit it. I will. Okay. Now you might be curious why I'm laying down. Obviously, it's because your attacker tripped and fell. But before they can get up and keep attacking you, you will deliver the finishing blow. Not on their head, but their leg. Because you're a good Samaritan, even though they attacked you, you don't want to put them out for good. So you're going to throw it at their leg, uh, and this is the real world applica application of what we're doing right now. I screwed up. I was hitting you with this side, which is less pokey. So I got to hit you with this side. Oh yeah, that's uh, I'm happy you noticed that. Yeah, you know. Thank you. Glad I caught it. <sighs> <laughs> All right, Mark, full power throw, downward throw. Throw it at me like one of your French girls. You got it. <laughs> you said full power. You didn't have to jump. Why did you jump? <laughs> Jake gave me the idea with the bouncy ball, so. Did say that wicked. Why did you say that? Because <laughs> you asked for full power. <laughs> Artie's even coming over here because he's concerned for me. There's a lot of. I'm hurt, Artie. Probably because you're lying down. Artie, I'm hurt. Help your papa. There's a lot of 
Blood bubbles. <laughs> Affected. But not broken. <laughs> this is right. a durable fruit. Yeah. I like it. You can still eat it later. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, let's go to the flail technique at this point. Um, it's our alternative option on how you can use it. I think it will still be effective. I think the washers are gonna hit you at all? You know, that's part of the data. And after you do that, I'll decide how I wanna hit you, huh? Maybe that hurts worse. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's review the data thus far. First hit was right here. And as you can see, it cut me pretty good. Second throw, scanned at my hip, which I didn't even notice because the impact was so strong on my arm. And then my leg. You might be wondering what that hacking sound was. And just I got creaky struts up there. Don't lie, it's June. No, oh, she's eating. Stuff off the garage floor, huh? Cleanup crew. <laughs> I'm a great dog owner, huh? <laughs> First swing, we'll do a nice, easy 50% swing. I think we can get pretty much close to full power on this. The throws gave me some confidence. I don't know how confident I am in you swinging it, though, on the other hand, but... Uh, watch out, June! I'm thinking a 50% power swing onto my leg, and then we'll maybe get to 100% power. Maybe. I'm feeling confident on the 100% though. I'm glad you're confident. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> smelled like you farted on me when it hit me. It smelled like <laughs> it did, gust of stank. It did crack a little. Oh. It felt like it. Well, it has the holes in it. We screwed the holes to fasten yeah. everything. Yeah, it did fart. Oh. Oh. See, this is what I'm saying. It's a, it's a great deterrent, okay? <laughs> you beat something with that and it cracks a little bit. Brings up old memories. Yep. <laughs> that used to be in my mouth. Not the worst thing I put in my mouth, though, huh? <laughs> That's the worst thing you put in your mouth. We don't need to talk about it. Let's do 100% power. <laughs> For Narnia! <laughs> That'll be $5. The bet wasn't on that one. We're even. Also, <laughs> Narnia? I are just eating it. I just ate the seed. You ate a seed? I already went for the seed. Oh. Alrighty. It's, it's good right now. Dude, that's the messiest. <laughs> Why even cut it? Just beat it on something and it breaks perfectly. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, it cuts pretty good. Uh, I do suspect the throw is better. It felt more effective. How's your breath? <sighs> better than most things. It sounded like a backwards compliment. Like, <laughs> it sounded like you're saying it's still bad. No, we can't be done. We have to hit Mark yet. And now I can only throw it at him. Drats. <laughs> Mark has uh, decided to get hit in the stomach, but we're gonna test it with a shirt on, see if it can penetrate the shirt at all. How hard do you think I can throw here, maybe? With those muscles, the speed of light. You're right, I probably can't throw that hard, but how hard should I throw it at you? Uh, to not kill me, um, 55%. Okay, I've learned the, the power level is really mean nothing at the end of the day. <laughs> They're very subjective. I will give you a decent throw, but not too hard. Yeah, cover, cover, you don't have to cover your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my arms get screwed. Oh, my. <laughs> don't have my dick. Okay, well, don't crouch down. You don't, don't move. Just moving things around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was more the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, no damage. How'd it feel though? Like a soft rock. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mark, just for the road, full powered into my back. <laughs> that one's really sturdy, man. <laughs> that thing won't break. Party. <laughs> what? Uh. 
Great, now I need to re-cement the garage if I ever sell this house. Stinks anyways. Yeah, who would want this garage? Burn it all. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll tear the garage down and rebuild it. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm cut pretty much everywhere. Um, yeah. I'll give my thoughts in a couple days, but I really want to get out of this garage. It rakes in here. It smells like something died. We're just gonna clean it up. I'm not gonna worry about that today. I'm just gonna. It's gonna be so much worse. When I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the durian fruit self defense data review. Two days after the experiment, I had quite a lot of scabbing from the throws to my stomach arm and leg. Then on my left leg, I had even more scabbing from the durian fruit flail that we created. It kind of looked like I got into a fight with a pack of cats, which has caused me to get a lot of strange looks at the gyms and some weird questions. And I just had to tell people I got beat with fruit. That was really spiky. I don't know if they believed me. But what did we learn? Well, I think it's safe to say that a durian fruit can cut unclothed skin quite well, can pack a decent punch due to its weight, and Smells horrible. Like seriously, my whole house stunk for hours after we did this video. It wasn't pleasant. However, due to the somewhat squishy nature of the durian fruit, ultimately I don't think it's that practical of a self-defense tool. Unless you're able to get a lucky hit on your attacker's head, or if your attacker is highly sensitive to bad smells. Perhaps you could feed a piece of it to them. That would get me running, but that kind of seems unlikely, so not that practical. Now I had high hopes for this one, but unfortunately it let me down in the pain and damage department. But that's why it was an experiment, and I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching and do yourself a favor, never put durian fruit in your mouth. It's awful, I guarantee it.